Hey you legendary tower runners, welcome to the tower running channel, welcome to the show called Tips for the Tower Runner. And this show is called Have a Heart and I'm going to explain what that means. It's a topic that I've been looking forward to doing ever since the inception of the tower running channel because this is a subject that if you're the number one male or female in the world or in the US or if you're just starting out in this sport of tower running or other endeavors everybody can use it. It's a great tool. It's something that um, we really could help progress all of us to a new level in our sport. And let me, uh, before I get into what I'm going to talk about, let's take uh, an athlete, whether it's a professional athlete or an amateur athlete. Now, a professional athlete, and we'll just use an NFL football team for an example, they've got coaches and trainers and doctors and chiropractors and masseuse, nutritionists, all sorts of people that are there for them. And as a as an amateur athlete, we might be able to get a personal trainer. Some people may have a nutritionist. Uh, we may go to our chiropractor or get a massage. But really, we're training on our own. And, and even the professional athlete may be in a certain way training on their own because we're always trying to figure out, am I training enough? Am I overdoing it? Am I going to be ready for this race? Am I going to be overtrained? And at times you just don't know because really we just kind of go by how we feel and that can change from day to day, from minute to minute, from moment to moment. One moment you're feeling great, next moment it's like, wow, I feel so hot. So we need tools to help us figure how we're progressing in our training as we prepare for a race. Now, what I'm going to talk about today is a great tool. It used to be really expensive, but now it's not. In fact, in fact, you're going to be able to test yourself by the end of this show. About 99% of the people that are watching this will have the tool that they need to test themselves on a simple program. And uh, hey, how often can you do that, that at the end of the show you're going to be able to actually do it, see where you're standing at this moment. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about heart rate variability. Now heart rate variability has been something that's started around the 1960s with science and for sports. And what heart rate variability is, is the time between a heartbeat. Now let's just say right now you have a, a a beat of 70 beats per minute. Well, there's a time in between each beat and it's different by milliseconds for each beat. And how this comes about by is our nervous system. Now let's think of our nervous system. Uh, an example I'd like to use, uh, and I use a lot, is cars. Uh, so a car has a, a computer brain. All the new cars are extremely advanced. So they, they have a high-tech computer, uh, just like we have a computer with our brain. And then the nervous system is like all the sensors that go out. You have a lot of sensors going into your engine that monitor engine performance, uh, air-fuel mixture, monitor the transmission, uh, your braking system with anti-lock brakes, whether your door's ajar. Uh, there's all sorts of systems of sensors that measure this and give feedback to the computer and they kind of does it automatically without thinking, because uh, hey, it's a car, uh, and to adjust these different things. Now, our nervous system in our body is the same way. Now, we have what we call an autonomic nervous system. That means it's automatic and we have two major systems in our nervous system that uh, we use for heart rate variability. Uh, the first system we call the parasympathetic system. Now think of this system as your rest and recovery system. Uh, this system helps in things like digestion, uh, it lowers your heart rate, it lowers your blood pressure, it's your recovery system. Now we also have uh, another system called the sympathetic system and that is the fight or flight system. 
um, you know, thousands of years ago, this system developed because we had to worry about uh, getting eaten by a tiger and whether to fight or fly, or fly or flee, uh, flee, run away, flee. Uh, fortunately, uh, most of us don't have to. Whoa, whoa, gee! <laughs> I think he's gone. I think I lost him in the south stairwell. Well, most of us don't have to worry about tigers. Apparently, some are still out running on the loose. So, if you guys see anything, let me know, okay? So, to get back to our sympathetic system, that's our fight or flight system. That's what revs us up. That's what gets your blood pressure up, your heart rate up, your pupils dilated. It stops digestion in your stomach because you're either getting ready to take on somebody and fight or you're getting ready to go and get away so you don't get eaten. Now, these two systems we use to measure heart rate variability. So when we train, if we overtrain, we'll get fatigued. And if we undertrain, well, we're not getting the maximum benefit of our training. So let's go into um, the two apps that I use. And uh, the one I've used for several years is called Stress Check. And you can get that on Android or uh, Apple Store. Uh, Android would be uh, the Play Store, and then you have the... Apple Store and, it's, and you just type in stress check it will come up you download it now you'll need to have um, probably an iPhone 4s and above and probably a Samsung any uh, Android 4.3 operating system or above maybe not for stress check uh, but it's a free program and in fact I'm, there's not really any advertisements on it either it's kind of nice when you download it uh, and load it up it'll say start so what you have to, you do have to have um, a light next to your camera, which most phones do, because what it does is it takes a pulse off your finger using that light. Um, I have a Samsung Galaxy S4. My bulb gets kind of hot, so just make sure you don't have a hot bulb. You burn your finger. And what you want to do, how you want to start using this um, tool is first thing in the morning when you get up, uh, take a couple minutes to just sit down before you have any coffee, don't have any caffeine, and you'll want to do this program. It takes about um, two and a half minutes. Again, you put your finger on the light and the camera and you start the program and just sit still and let it run its course. Uh, with stress check, it doesn't give you any numbers. It gives you a percentage, but it will give you suggestions. And you can uh, load up a history of this so you can keep track of it each day. Uh, it's, it's a simple system. But I've actually found it's worked pretty good. Uh, so you'll want to do that, and it'll give you suggestions, and you may find it's like, wow, I am kind of ramped up. I need to back off today, or hey, good to go today. Let's go. So the next uh, program that I've started using, I really like this program. It's also free, also on um, Android or uh, Apple. is called Elite HRV. And just type that into uh, where you get your programs from, Play, Play Store or Apple Store, and download that program. Now, they also have a really good uh, website called uh, EliteHRV.com. Uh, when you do download the program and you sign up for it, uh, they'll send you in your email a 50-page PDF file explaining HRV. So I'm not going to cover a lot of things they cover. Uh, they do a much better job than I could. But uh, even if you just uh, do stress check, you might want to download that program and get that file so you can read over heart rate variability and get a better understanding of what that is. Now with uh, Elite HRV, you're going to need a heart rate strap. So for those uh, joggers or cyclists out there, you know what this is. This is a chest heart rate strap that... Uh, goes around your chest, it uh, wraps around your back, and uh, you have two sensors right here. It goes on your chest. You'll need, uh, now most phones have Bluetooth 4 and above, so iPhone, iPhone 4S and Android Galaxy, or I'm sorry, Samsung Galaxy series uh, all have that. 
So if you have a Bluetooth heart rate strap, you should be good to go. Now also they now do Ant Plus, and now I use Ant Plus for my road cycling, and my Galaxy S4 has an Ant Plus radio. So you'll need to uh, either look on Elite HRV, see if your phone, uh, they have a, a place where you can look for a link, see if your phone's on there, or go to your applications section and look for Ant Plus, it's A-N-T Plus radio. And if you have that, you can pair that up just like you'd pair up a Bluetooth and you'll be good to go. So what you want to do is as much as possible, I know life kind of gets in the way of this, but the best thing you could do is take a reading every morning before you uh, start your day. And uh, Elite HRV will give you numbers and tell you hey, just kind of stress check, but they'll actually give you numbers that you can compare with and do uh, keep a better history with than stress check. There's also other programs out there uh, that you may have to buy some things and you can look those up. You can do your own research on that. But I found both of these programs work really well. Um, and the great thing about stress check is you have it with you all the time. You may find some time during the day because stress is not just about our workouts. Stress is about our life. And if you ever find yourself really feeling stressed out at the office or something, try using stress check and see where it comes up. You're probably going to find yourself almost pegged to the top, which is uh, something I would tell you that maybe you need to take some deep breaths, uh, you know, just a little relaxation, a quick, you know, one minute meditation. Um, there's different things you can do out there. I do a, a breathing technique called box breathing that we'll go into on another show because uh, too much of the wrong kind of stress is not good in our life. So I think this is a great tool. Uh, it has really helped me. It's one, of the, it's one of the tools that has really helped me progress in this sport to um, a pretty high status uh, in, in the United States. And I think, uh, if, uh, as we all know, there's nothing worse than training. And about two weeks before a race, you have this great workout. You just know that you, if you were doing that race today, that you would smoke it up the stairwells, that you would have a PR and it would be awesome. And then two weeks later you get to the race and you're like, what happened? I feel terrible today. I had a terrible race. And you spent maybe months training for this race. So, you know, we don't like to go into a situation like that. And uh, with this tool, now you won't be going totally blind. You've got, actually got... Uh, kind of got a micro coach there to kind of help you alone. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments sections in the YouTube channel or on the Facebook uh, group sites if you use uh, uh, heart rate variability uh, monitoring and, in, and if you start doing it, let me know what you think. Uh, if it's something that you um, have found useful, you know, it's going to take it's going to take some time. Just you know, we get one reading is not going to do much for you. This is this is something over the long term. So but really, we're talking about two and a half minutes in the morning and you're done. You kind of got an idea. You can always do it later on during the day, but you always want to get that morning reading because that way you have a base to know every morning before your day starts, this is where I'm at. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. And we look forward to bringing you more topics and more shows on tips for the Tower Runner. Uh, we may even have to have a show on how to use Krav Maga to defend yourself from a tiger or maybe uh, one of the sprinters around here can tell me how to run faster. So at your next tower running race, have a great time. Go talk to people. Say hello. Everybody's really excited to be there. So say hello to somebody. Start talking. Ask them about their race. If it's your first race, tell them, hey, it's my first race. So have a great time there. Hoping we want you to have fast climb, and um, we look forward to seeing you at the top.